Hello again everybody and welcome. Uh, tonight I have a Manly Wasp slip joint for you. Okay, You can get it in green, black, orange and the high range red. This particular one is in the green. Um, I'm not sponsored by anyone including high Haynes and yeah but I'd like to maybe review that one. Uh, I've only got a couple of knives because I've only just started as uh, you know. Anyway, um, it comes in a nice, uh, reasonably nice, minimalist looking sustainable carbon box compared to some knives, it's not too bad. Um, there you go, there she is, so to speak. You've got a couple of two size uh, Allen keys, tools for service and maintenance. And then again, you've also got the little slip in there for instructions. Um, and that's that. So I'll just give you a little close up of that. If you can see all the dimensions and weights and whatnot. Okay. Anyway, and also the warranty on the back. Right. Little plastic uh, bag comes in so I can now get rid of that. I've been using this for about a week and a half. I use all my knives for at least a week, week and a half, two weeks sometimes um, before I review them. And uh, I've just reboxed that. So that's what I do. I rebox them. Anyway. Blade centering, more or less bang on. I don't know if you can see that. And it's slightly going, the, the leading edge of this blade of the tip, if you will, is going slightly to the left and it's slightly off, ever so slightly off. And that means the hilt of the blade there is going to the right a little bit, to the right hand side of the scale. Um, it's not ideal. If, if I was collecting this knife, I'd like it, I want it bang on. I want everything showroom condition absolutely um, pristine. However, this knife is a utility knife. It's a practical knife. It's used. It's made for working. It it talks to you. It wants to jump out of the te toolbox and work me. <laughs> That's kind of what it's, it talks to you. It wants to work. You know, take me to work. Put it in a pocket or put it in a toolbox and that's worth its weight in gold actually in many ways anyway um she's strong as well look at that for a drop point a uh, nice classic drop point flat grind uh with a brush stainless steel finish um in some descriptions on the internet some said that's a stonewash finish and it actually isn't maybe there are stonewash variants that would be nice i'd love imagine that in stonewash oh that'd be love absolutely gorgeous but anyway, it is what it is, and I'm happy with what I've got. So, uh, it's got a little emblem, manly emblem on the uh, front, just there, as you can see. Uh, on the other side, look at that, look at that. S90V, that's a super steel. <laughs> and it's, let me tell you, it's super sharp. And it is. it keeps an edge so well. I haven't sharpened this knife at all, I've used it a lot. I've used it for cutting cable, for cutting boxes of course and cordage and you name it not peeling my apples to be fair i use my other knife for that now the other one i got uh, the mazarin um but you know it is it is lovely it is really nice it's a quite a heavy duty knife um or medium duty to heavy duty if you will i can put this in a backpack a day sack um or overnight bag whatever and take this out i can make feather sticks you know uh, it's great for camping it's just it's a great all-rounder it really is um anyway no blade play uh which you'd expect because that's quite a thick blip you know blade there and but this is a unique characteristic about this uh knife um was well, three unique characteristics about this knife actually and that is one two three there you go did you hear that want to hear it again you got not just one half stop oh no you got three stops okay this is not just a knife this is a knife and a half i mean you get a lot of knife for your money here <laughs> you really do so look here we go now that's about 120 degrees let's say first half first stop nearly 90 degrees just slightly under and then at 45 degree um it is 45 degree believe me okay so three stops there guys it's <laughs> it might have a little bit of grit and i need to clean this out a bit maybe because um there you go and it, it it does it does stop there uh but three half stops guys it's uh super safe because it's a super steel and it's super sharp and that's why and i and i welcome that by manly um i want to go to bulgaria and i want to shake their hands uh because of that that's that's just very good i like that a lot anyway uh i digress so it's a very solid made knife it's utilitarian 
and it's practical. It's if you're a practical person, um, you're a tradesperson, you know, you're a first responder, a farmer. If you use a knife every day, and it's like, not just light but medium duty, you need to do stuff, cut cable, do bits and pieces, uh, than just light duty. This is a knife worth, seriously worth considering. It really is. Um, anyway, no steel liners as such, and uh, good back spring, uh, quite strong just under three mil um, in a matte finish. You can see, I don't know if you can see that, the back spring's slightly, ever so slightly proud. Um, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's, it's, it's not, collect if I was collecting this, I'd want it bang on, like uh, a GEC or something. But it's utilitarian knife. So it's a secondary thing, but it's not a deal breaker for me. Um, also, uh, talking about scales, they're G10. Obviously in green finish, which I like. I like green, um, G10, very grippy. Um, feels very comfortable in the hand and everything like that. Very nice. However, the overall fit and finish of this, because if you can look at that, unfortunately you got one uh, scale is about three mil and the other scale is about four mil. So one side's slightly thicker than the other, which is a bit of a shame really, things like that. And also it's, uh, it feels a little bit, it feels good in the hand, it feels comfortable in the hand. It could be slightly better though, because you've got not sharp edges, but these could be have a slight radius on or a bevel going away around. They're, they could be better machined, better finished. Um, they're good enough at the end of the day, um, as I say, it's utilitarian knife, but just those things to finish it off would be absolutely great. This is a very nice knife, but this could be a great knife if the fit and finish was that a little bit more. Um, anyway, I digress. So, very nice clip uh, with a retaining clip, good retention, uh, slightly goes above the um, end of the uh, knife there, which is good for deep carry, as you can see. It isn't tip up, tip down, it's only tip up only, but it is reversible, which is not too bad. Um, like I say, overall fit and finish of this knife is reasonably good but it's not great but for the money we're talking <laughs> don't forget guys we're talking 63 pounds which is what 81 dollars you're getting a lot of knife for your money you really are s90 v still super still remember yeah okay uh overall dimensions let's have a look here we go so it's uk legal and we got it's a three inch blade uh the length of the blade the actual uh, cutting length is two and seven eighths. So we've got the overall um, blade length is three inches or 7.5 centimeters, and the cutting length is two and seven eighths or 7.2 centimeters, okay? Um, blade thickness, there you go, um, is basically uh, 2.5 millimeters or 3 sixteenths in old money. <laughs> And I was brought up with Imperial, but also learnt metrics, so that's no problem. I'll try and give you both, because I've been just doing Imperial, I think, recently. So, the overall uh, length of the uh, knife is just under seven inches. I think if we, if we took it back just there, it's about six and six inches and seven eighths of an inch. Okay, so just under sh uh, shy of seven inches, very nice. Close. It is about four inches, I'm guessing, from memory. Yeah, four inches or 100 mil or 10 centimeters, okay? And the overall length, as I said, just under seven inches, which is about, what, 175 millimeters or 17.5 centimeters. Um, the actual weight of the knife is about, let's have a look, 80. Okay, 70. 8.58 grams. So, you know, it's not too bad. Under 79 grams, it's, it's, oh, I had a feeling it's about 80. But you know you've got a knife in your hand with this, you really do. Um, she's quite weighty and very meaty, solid. Um, y you know, it is solid, it really is. What I think of this knife, my overall verdict of this knife, we, it's a keeper. So I will be keeping this knife because I'm going to be using this knife. Um, I still go on the tools, um, obviously a lot, and I go out um, a day hiking in the, on the trail or overnight stay, doing a weekend hike, whatever. 
some bushcraft. This is a great little uh, knife for bushcraft, actually. It's a backup knife. I've got a main knife, and this will be a backup knife. But if I'm EDC and I'm not on a trail, then I could carry this in my workbox and have a little small backup knife as well. Anyway, so fantastic value for money. It's sixty-three pounds, eighty-one dollars. Like I said, um, you're getting a lot of knife for your money. It's UK legal. It's super safe uh, with the three stops. Absolute bargain. Um, like I said, if you're if you're a, um, a practical person and you use a knife every day, and you're in a trade or in construction, this is a knife for you. It really is. Overall, this knife deserves um, four and a half stars out of five. Four point five stars out of five, which is very good. It didn't hit the five stars um, because of the slight finishing. So for example, as I mentioned earlier, the overall fit and finish, um, that's the only reason why it didn't hit five stars. Otherwise, it would have been. Um, she breaks, she's tough to break, it's about a nine. I mean, really. And it's a two-handed pull, but you got a, a reasonable walk and talk there. But that, for me, overall, four and a half out of five that is a very good knife worth the money guys thanks for watching if you like the video give us a like and a thumbs up and subscribe until next time take care bye bye